Hi, everybody. This is Patrick with the Red Arc support and development teams. I've got some very exciting information to share with you today, and that is some letterbox tips and tricks. Tips and tricks that are going to make you an absolute pro at generating letters for all of your constituents. Um, so let's start off with what is letterbox? Letterbox is created to be the easy button for creating and sending acknowledgement letters. Now you can do gift and constituent letters. You can do them individually if you'd like to. You can do them in bulk runs with, which are based off of an NXT list. And with the premium plan, you can also do email delivery. So that will go straight to a constituent's primary email address that's on their record. So let's get into a couple of the common questions and issues that I get as a part of the support team a lot with Letterbox. So a lot of people expect to see their gift letters on a constituent record in the actions tile. And sometimes people will expect to see their constituent letters on a gift record, but that just doesn't, that's not the case. So we have two different types of templates. We've got a gift and a constituent template. And if you're using a constituent template, it's only going to populate on a constituent record. And if you're using a gift template, it's only going to populate on a gift record. Now, another thing that we get a lot is formatting dates and amounts in the way that people are wanting. So let's go through that here in my template and I'll show you what this looks like in a preview in just a little bit. But right now let's go through what the tag looks like. So normally whenever you select a date tag, it'll just be basically populated like this, capital M, M slash DD slash YY. And that's gonna give you a format of today's date would be 06 slash 16 slash 22. But if you want to format it in more of like a long date, you can change what's inside of these quotations right here to four M's, one D and four Y's to give you that long date format. We've got an entire knowledge base article on how to format dates. So if you're interested in that, please go check out our service desk and, and look at that knowledge base article that we have for you. It has all the options. So for currencies, most people want their gift amounts to be formatted with two decimal places trailing all the time and a dollar sign or a great British pound sign um, always prepended to the beginning of the currency amount. So what we can do is normally our tag looks like this. It'll just say currency gift.amount.value like this. But what we can do is we can add in quotations, whatever the designation is for your, for your currency. So here we have USD, we have AUD. So that's going to populate with two decimal places all the time. It'll prepend a dollar sign for both of those. If you wanted to do great British pound, we could do GBP inside of those quotations and it would prepend a great British pound symbol to the value. Now let's talk about some very, very cool things that we can do with the template editor. So we can do what are called with statements and with statements allow you to write a little bit less in your template editor compared to writing the full name for every single tag. So if I have a bunch of tags in a row that all start with address dot this address dot that then I can create this with tag around it, around all of my address tags. And what it'll do is basically, it'll make me not have to type in all of the address dot in front of everything. So typically this tag right here looks like address dot address underscore lines. But with the with tag, I can reduce it to just address underscore lines. Same with city and state and postal code. Those all usually have address dot city state and postal code in front of them. So it just, it allows you to write just a little bit less inside of your template editor. It's a, just a cool feature. You don't have to do it. I think it's very useful. Also something that is very useful inside of gift acknowledgement letters is each statements. So each statements loop through a list of objects. And the most common example of this, like I said, is something like gift splits. 
Um, so if you want to do like a for each gift dot gift splits, then inside of this tag here, this is going to be the opening tag, the pound each, and the closing tag is going to be slash each. Inside of there, the this keyword is going to become basically like each of those those gift splits. So this would be like gift split one dot amount dot value. And then if you had two or three or four, it would work for every single one of those as well. So this would drastically reduce the amount of um, handlebars you have to write inside of your template if you have a bunch of gift splits or another way that you could use this. Now, before I get to custom fields, I want to talk about a couple of things that people have issues with that are just really easy fixes. Um, so yeah, like one of them is the tile not loading properly. A lot of times people don't have their cookies enabled, which is where we store our, where we store our authentication. And so if you don't have cookies enabled, the app's not going to work. So that's, that's like your first place that you can look if, if the app's not working. Um, another thing is whenever previews aren't loading, like you don't get an error, but it doesn't pop up in a new window. And 99% of the time, whenever this is happening, people have pop-ups blocked in the browser. So if pop-ups are blocked, preview is not going to load. It's just, that's just how it goes. And please, just a note to everybody, if you have an issue with Letterbox, please don't disconnect the app yourself and then try and reconnect it to reset it up that way. Um, just get in contact with me, get in contact um, with Lucas, that's Patrick at Red Arctic Systems or Lucas at Red Arctic Systems, or you can um, email our support desk, support at Red Arctic Systems. Now, the last thing that I wanna chat about, and I'll show you the template, the preview here in a second, is custom field tags. This is huge, uh, because this is a fantastic way for you to input custom information into your acknowledgement letters based on custom fields that you have created. And a lot of you probably already have custom fields created. So this could be an immediate use. So here I've got just a few custom field names, total email sent, total emails open, percentage of emails opened. And what I can do is I can create my own custom handlebar function. And it's gonna say custom dot my custom field name and then dot value. You can also access things like dot date, which is like the date that it was created or updated. And if you're gonna do gift custom fields, it would be gift dot and then your custom field name. So I'm gonna show you what all of this looks like inside of my own record. So here is my gift record. I'm gonna show you the preview that I've generated we can see the formatted dates. That's beautiful. That's all looking great. My formatted currencies, amazing. My with statement allowed me to get the whole address without having to write address dot everything. This each loop allowed me to get all of the gift splits for this gift, which is just one, um, and display that here. And my custom fields, how cool is that? Total email sent 17, open 17, percent opened 100. And I'll show you on my personal record in my custom fields, total opened 17, sent 17, percent opened 100. So this can be a really fantastic way for you to get custom information into your personalized letters. Um, and that's, that's it for me. Um, I, I hope you found this helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we're always happy to chat. Thank you so much. Have a great day.